People need to stop being nice at intersections of all the damn things in the world. In my day, I've driven hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of miles. It may even be a million, I have no idea. But rest assured, every single year of my adult life, I have put a lot of mileage on a lot of vehicles. And one of the things that constantly comes up and frustrates me when I've put a lot of mileage on a lot of vehicles is not something which happens on the highway. Rather, it's something that happens off the highway, something that happens on little side roads, entrances to shopping areas, all kinds of places where, well, anywhere that you can find a three or four way stop sign, an intersection, a place where most or all of the people have to stop. Nobody likes intersections because you have to stop. Whatever you're doing, you have to stop doing it so that you can wait for what? Sometimes there's no one there. Sometimes there is someone there. But the one thing that's worse than going to an intersection, stopping, and having your travel cease for a little while so that you can either wait on no one or wait on someone is when that someone that you're waiting on is nice. But I don't mean nice as in they are truly kind. I mean they are nice as in they signal to you that they are waiting for you to violate the traffic rules so that they can go. Because these nice people, when you get to the three or four way stop, they don't understand or don't care about the traffic rules. They don't care that there's a certain way that you're supposed to do things when you get to one of these stop signs. There's a certain way you're supposed to handle it such that when everyone stops at this stop sign, everyone knows what to do. See, there's a procedure. There's a simple, well-oiled machine that dictates what you do at a stop sign. If you get to a stop sign and it indicates it's a three or four way stop, then if someone else gets there at the same time, whoever's on the left gets to go first. And if you don't get there at the same time, whoever got there first gets to go first. The thing that really chafes me at an intersection is when you pull up and someone else was clearly there first. But they signal to you, hey, go ahead, go ahead, go, come on, go ahead. You can go, you can go before me. You can go before, even though I'm across from you, I'm not signaling, you're not signaling, or you're trying to turn left or something. And I, you know, I've, I've been sitting here for 15 seconds and you pulled up, no, come on, I'm being nice, you come on. Except the amount of time that this idiot across from you spent waving at you to try and tell you to break the traffic laws, they could have just done what was correct in the first place and you would have already been on your way. And it, it's becoming increasingly frustrating because it seems like I'm running into more and more of these people. You get there, they've been there before you, they're clearly there before you, and they just sit there and wait. Or worse yet, the one where you get there and they're to the left of you and the rules say in the United States that the person who's left of you at an intersection that you get to at the same time has right of way. They get to go first. This is not something that people should not know, but it seems like nobody understands that it's there. Nobody knows what to do. People get to one of these three or four way stops and they have no clue. There's this one stop at the Walmart. Whenever I'm trying to get out of the Walmart Plaza, incoming traffic doesn't stop. The jerks don't have a sign for incoming traffic doesn't stop. So people will go even though they don't realize that the stop is not a four-way stop, it's a three-way stop. But the worst part of it all is that once you don't have to deal with that stream of traffic that's incoming that does not stop, now you're down to the three-way stop. And the problem is that nobody knows what to do. Everybody gets there and it seems like everybody just wants to wait to see what the other people will do. It's like some kind of bizarre waiting game. Like they're trying to hunt or something. Like there's gonna be a bunch of rabbits that go across and they're gonna try and get them. You know, they're just sitting there and wait. Like, oh, there's gotta, surely this animal will come through that we can catch and eat. At least that's what it seems like they're doing with their cars, except they're in cars, they're sitting at a stop sign. They're supposed to just be stopping and then following a very simple pair of rules that tell them what to do as far as going again. But they can't even do that. They're too busy waiting on rabbits to go by to actually follow the traffic laws. 
So you have three people sitting here waiting on each other to go, people waving at each other like this, and nobody ever goes. Meanwhile, lines start stacking up behind all of these awfully generous and kind people while they're sitting there trying to be nicer to everyone else. And all you do when you're sitting in the back of this line behind five people watching nothing go forward is you just want to lay on that horn. You just want to ah! But you can't because that would also be rude. Plus, that's not what you're supposed to do with a horn. However, one of the things that I do, I have started to do this quite a bit, is if I get to a traffic intersection and it's got a two or a three or four way and they're not following the rules, if I see them waving at me or they're just sitting there and they very clearly have the right of way, I'll just lay on the horn until they go. Because I'm not going to sit there and let somebody be nice to me to the point that it takes me too long to get through. I'll give them a grace period. I'll let them sit there and not do anything for a while. But if I'm sitting there at an intersection for more than five seconds and you've had the right of way and you've had a clear shot and you aren't taking it, I'm just going to lay on my horn until you go. Because I'm sick of these people who can't follow simple traffic laws. The system is in place such that everybody's supposed to understand what to do and if everybody does it, you move through in an optimal fashion so that you don't waste any time. Nobody has to sit there and wonder what to do, everybody just goes. But everybody's time has to be wasted because Uncle Jimbo across the way is a good old southern boy who doesn't understand that he's not supposed to be nice, he's supposed to follow traffic laws. So good old southern boy just waiting like, oh no, you come on, I'm going to be nice to you, welcome to the south. Motherfucker, you need to go. You need to go. Skinny pedal on the right. You need to make a movement. You need to get out of my way because as long as you have the right of way, you are technically in my way. And you know what happens? If I go out into the intersection when you have the right of way and then you go and you bump into me because, oh, well, you just jumped out in front of me. Well, you have the right of way, so guess what? Guess who gets the ticket? Guess who has to pay for the damage to the vehicles? Guess who it is that screwed? Me. The person who followed your poor, ignorant signals. And I ain't gonna do that. So, yeah. Three and four way intersections make me mad. People need to stop being nice at them. Don't be nice. Do what you're supposed to do. It's not hard. Thanks for watching this rant. Like, comment, subscribe. Look down there in the description. You can find uh, jodybruchon.com, support links, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the little bell. You know all that stuff. Take care. Have a good one.